Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and welcome to Green Power Science, Earth Day Special. Today, we're going to be sharing with you some tips to help you go green. One of the easiest things you can do to go green is to replace your ordinary incandescent light bulbs with these. These are compact fluorescent bulbs. They come in many different sizes and color variations. This particular one here is the 6500K. This gives a nice true white light. These are 26 watts and they equal a 100 watt bulb. If you look throughout our office, we have 20 light bulbs going at any time throughout the day. We keep our lights on for about 12 hours a day. If those were regular 100 watt bulbs, that would be over 2,000 watts of electricity that we would pull. Because we use the compact fluorescence, we actually cut that down to about 400 watts. These bulbs are about $2 a piece and simply changing all your light bulbs can make a huge difference. Another newer technology is the LED bulb. This is a $40 light bulb. This particular light bulb only pulls 10 watts. They're a lot more expensive, but in the long run, they'll save you a lot of money. The second thing you could do is keep your tires properly inflated. You can improve your gas mileage by up to 3% by keeping your tires inflated to the proper pressure. Underinflated tires can lower gas mileage by 0.3% for every 1 PSI drop in pressure for all four tires. If your vehicle gets 25 miles to the gallon and you have a 15 gallon fuel tank, filling up your tires to the recommended air pressure can result in almost a half a gallon of fuel savings per fill up or $2. An estimated 1.2 billion gallons of gasoline can be saved in the United States alone by drivers inflating their tires properly. Properly inflated tires are safer and last longer. Over inflating your tires can be dangerous and there is virtually no performance gain. Also, check your air filter. A clogged air filter can cost up to $3 every gas fill up. If you want to save about 40 bucks a month off of your summer cooling bill, consider converting your roof to a lighter color. Most homeowners associations are pretty strict about the colors of roofs in neighborhoods. They prefer a darker color, which really doesn't make a lot of sense in the summertime. By having a dark roof that collects a lot of sunlight, it can actually raise your cooling bill by up to $40 to $50 a month. A lighter colored roof actually reflects much of the sunlight off and puts less of a strain on your air conditioner. To demonstrate this, I found two cargo containers that were actually sitting out in the sun. One of them is a lighter color, the other one is a darker maroon color. While the interior walls of the lighter cargo container gets warm, and the roof also gets pretty warm, that's nothing compared to the darker container. If you're due for a new roof soon, consider metal roofing. It comes in many different colors and new styles that are available from traditional older style metal roofing. It actually fits into many homeowners association programs and can actually help lower your electric bill. If you live in an extremely restrictive neighborhood and getting a lighter colored roof is not an option, consider a solar attic fan. These fans pump a lot of the heat that builds up inside the attic and actually lower the temperature inside your house. Another simple tip, use a toaster oven. If you cook smaller meals for two to three people, using a toaster oven versus a conventional oven will save you up to 70% electricity per meal. Both ovens will cook a smaller meal in about the same time but larger ovens require almost 4,000 watts electricity versus 1,500 watts in a toaster oven. We hope you found these tips useful and maybe it'll save you some money. I'm your host, Denise Rojas. And I'm Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. Happy Earth Day!